In this episode of Run for Europe, we will take the ferry from Brindisi, Italy, to the port of Igomenista in Greece, before heading over to the Meteora Monasteries, one of the most holy, spiritual and breathtaking places in the whole world. I was not ready for this incredible experience. Running in this place definitely ranks as one of the most beautiful places I've ever ran in. Welcome to Marathon 3 out of 24 on the holy grounds of Meteora in Greece. Are you ready for tomorrow? Boys, Greece, we're coming. <laughs> Some pasta with peanut butter. Yeah, this, <laughs> this sauce is really good. This, this sauce would be great in a salad, but in the pasta, <laughs> this is not a Italian pasta. <laughs> this is some shit uh, from Germany. <laughs> this is some shit uh, from Germany. <laughs> No shit in Germany. The size on it. How does it feel? Driving on the water. Close or all good? <laughs> We're good, boys. We're good? Yeah. So we got all our Stop. all our EcoFlow batteries. Black roll to do some yoga on the ferry. All the camera stuff of course to edit. Are you the captain, Marcel? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. Morning. Good morning, Enzito. <laughs> How did you sleep? Very well. Very well? Yeah. Eight hours? And 30 minutes. Eight hours and 30 minutes. Yeah. Look at Sun that. Sun is shining. <laughs> this is Marcel's little sleeping spot. Yeah, it's super comfortable. I'm sleeping very good. <laughs> Wow, well, good morning, Greece. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. What a bay, man. It's beautiful, it's no? A beautiful place. Yesterday we arrived in the dark, so we're kind of discovering the spot. Well, it feels a little bit like Brazil because it's so green and the mountains. Morning coffee. So we arrived in Greece yesterday evening, Igomenista, which is the port where we docked yesterday from Italy. It was raining heavily this morning, but now the sun came out. We're going to have lunch there. Marcel cooked some nice rice for us. And then we're off to Meteora Monasteries, which is supposed to be a magical place two hours from here. Um, we're meeting with some locals there and can't wait to run there. It's supposed to be absolutely stunning. Can't wait to show you. The first run was a real struggle because we did lots of mistakes. I almost got hypothermia. The second run yesterday, much better. We were much better prepared. And now I feel like slowly we're getting into the gears, into the groove of running, living in the van, and you know, the filming, all those little pieces are coming together. Super hungry, let's have lunch. See you later. What a beautiful view, man, nice, to have lunch in the open, in the outside. After a great lunch, we decided to take advantage of this great weather and breathe for a bit. The last few days have been hectic and we did not get the chance to relax at all. 
When we were not running, we were driving. And when we were not driving, we were filming a project, cooking, doing a laundry, or eating somewhere on the go. We realized that this trip was going to be packed with action nonstop. And as today was a rest day and the sun was out, we decided to go for a little recovery session on the beach and for a dip in the sea before heading over to the holy monasteries of Meteora. The experience that awaits us there is out of this world, so make sure to watch until the end. It's go time. It is go time. What are we getting, mate? <laughs> Spinach. <laughs> what do we need? Hey, we can buy some Greek yogurt. Some Greek yogurt, yeah, why not? Come on. Some feta, huh? <laughs> Look, even better. <laughs> that, that's two kilos of feta. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, bro. <laughs> this is it, 21 bucks. For that good, for more. Bon, le charbon, c'est où, frérot? Hey everyone, we are here in a very holy place, the Meteora Monasteries, here in central Greece. You can see them in the back here. What a luck, what a privilege. We have Antonia, our, our, our guide, who is showing us around this place today. And this afternoon, there is a trail going all around uh, this site, and we'll run it with Enzo, so stay tuned. During our visit to the extraordinary Meteora Monasteries, we had the privilege of being guided by Antonio who shared captivating stories and insights into this remarkable UNESCO World Heritage Site. From that period till today, every year at 23 of April, local climbers go up, take the old scarves, put it in a bag, put new one, and then as they go down, they cut the scarves in smaller pieces and give a piece to everybody to have it home, to have the bless of the same. Wow. Wow. So those scarves, staying there for one year. And they have been replaced like three weeks ago. Yeah. Meteora, meaning suspended in the air, is home to a collection of ancient monasteries perched atop towering rock pillars in central Greece. The hermit monks who first settled here in the 9th century were extremely dedicated men from Serbia who sought spiritual solitude and communion with God. These devout individuals, often starting as young as in their teens or early 20s, embarked on a journey of self-discipline and isolation. Once they arrived at Meteora, they chose to live in these holes and caves hollowed out in the immense rocks, often hundreds of meters above the ground, taking the expression living on the edge to a whole new level. Remarkably, 
Some hermit monks lived in these remote caves for several decades, fully dedicating themselves to the spiritual pursuits without ever leaving a single hole in the rock. Today, six of the 26 original monasteries are still active. And after our morning tour with Antonio, it was time to slowly prepare for the marathon that we still had scheduled for this afternoon. Okay guys, going on a trail run here in Meteora with Enzo. It's gonna hey be super cool. First run with Enzo now. Yeah. We got some water. We got our max nutrition protein nut bars, good energy, and some salt tabs in here. But that's about it, you know, we're just going for a 20k run now, so we don't need to take too much stuff. Yeah, and also we're gonna be meeting with Marcel along the way, so we can fuel up. For sure. Looking good, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Incredible. Woohoo! Muddy! The way we like it! <laughs> this is like Harry Potter style! Yeah. Ah. Ring. <laughs> what a force! Slow and steady, my friend. Yes, sir. Go, man. Some of the monasteries, some monks still live in there and they practically never come down. So they use this pulley system that you can see maybe on the side to get up food and water. The locals here help them out to survive. Without the locals, these monks would not be able to survive. But as you can see, they are very, very well preserved because they get money from tourists and that allows them to live because they don't have a job, they don't earn money. They dedicate themselves to God. And traditionally, they are up there in those cliffs to protect themselves from, from enemies. The lens is not the cleanest ever. Probably as clean as we are. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> this man's crazy! Oh man, it's a dream! Feeling rather stoked. <laughs> yeah, baby! Let's go! Kilometer 10! Let's go! Run of my life. So much fun. A bit dangerous. <laughs> so this is pretty impressive. You see this big hole in the rock. This is 60 meters high and is the, the prison for monks. So according to Antonio, when monks misbehaved in some uh, way, shape or form, they had to go inside this cave and stay there for months at a time. And I mean, as you can see, maybe you can't see it on this GoPro, but it's extremely precarious and pretty unimaginable for us um, how it's possible. But some monks actually wanted to go there because there's more freedom there than in the monasteries. Little side story. Thanks Antonio for showing us around. Amazing guide. If you ever come to the Meteora, uh, it's not a park, the area here, make sure to get Antonio as a guide at Meteora Thrones. Incredible 
as well as the restaurant Mithiora Panorama. Exceptional food, exceptional people. Let's finish this run. Woohoo! Think it's this way. What up, man? Oh. Man, how does it went? Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, just nice trail. Give super, me your super fast, nice. Please. But I had to. All the time check if I'm on the right one because there's so many yeah, intersecting, you know. Little Max 5, little protein nut bar. These things with a banana, I could go for years. <laughs> and 10 k's later. Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, smelling like, mm. like cheese. Look well, at this don't cheese. film what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Max 5 for my boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. EAAs, BCAAs for muscle recovery, zero sugar, caffeine Man. to get you going, and some vitamins. There's nothing better. The protein's in here, the energy's in there. So I just finished running the Meteora trail loop with Enzo, and now we found this this road under construction which is again pretty perfect for running because it's all flat no cars so i'm just going to grind it out i'm a kilometer 20 so 22 to go let's do it <laughs> What's up, man? That's it. Oh, oh is it good? Respect, my Good. Boy. Respect. 42 and a half. That was so tough. nice. How was the last part? Last 5k, really hard. The wind's coming from this direction, so it was really cold. But so glad we did it. So we did the first 15k together with Enzo in the Meteora Monasteries area. An amazing trail. Meteora trail you can look it up if you're ever there i highly recommend you do it you pass through like six of the monasteries absolutely breathtaking um, after that the sun set and we decided to look for a very straight road the same thing we did in italy because that worked out really well and so marcel and enzo found this this like construction road here <laughs> in the middle of greece no one here absolutely flat and amazing to run it felt like i was running in an apocalypse um, really great to finish it out but obviously quite cold raining uh, now i'm so glad i did it here it is 42.2 in four hours and seven minutes that's under six pace so that's my fastest marathon from the three for now uh, i mean the first two were quite slow because of the little hiccups that we had so really happy now i'm going to have some Max 5 recovery drink. Uh, I'm gonna put my Reboots pants on to get that lactate out of my legs because my legs are really jelly. And I think Enzo prepared a soup for me. Nice so, soup cooking right here. Yeah, for sure. Thanks all for watching and stay tuned. Tomorrow we're off to Bulgaria. This is gonna be some of the wildest um, of the whole series. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. Oh man, so glad, so glad. Oh. The soup smells amazing, man. Oh, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for the last hour. <laughs> Running in the cold. Just this soup. <laughs> Let's go, man. This is amazing. This trip is so dope. How's it going there? Tell us. Those are the Reboots Go Pants. Basically, recovery pants that you put on after whatever 
endurance work you're doing if it's cycling skiing or running and it takes 30 minutes you don't have to do anything you can be on your computer read a book whatever and it gets all the lactate out of your legs and you wake up the next day with fresh legs so this helps me run 24 marathons in two months so thanks reboots and now i want my soup because you've been talking about your soup a lot <laughs> i want my soup now <laughs> here is the nice soup